Well, Blue Jays fans, the Jays, they win the second game of the back-to-back -back or the doubleheader, but they lose the first game to the Los Angeles Angels. And this was a this was a, a weird one, but I'm glad that they won the last game. And the boy, oh boy, with Shohei Otani on the plate and Jordan Romano with his speed, it got down to the wire. But the Blue Jays, they finished the job. Jordan Romano got the win in the second one. And they came out with one win to put them two and a half games back of the Boston Red Sox. Well, what is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Garcel. Welcome back to the video. The Toronto Blue Jays lose the first game to the Los Angeles Angels. And let's get straight into it. Top of the third, Upton. Singles to left. Gosselin and Iglesias will both score on the play. The Angels take a 2 nothing lead in the top of the third. Bottom of the third, Marcus Sinian doubles to center. George Springer scores on the play, and it is 2-1. to one. Top of the fifth, though. Adele safe at second on a fielding error by Guerrero Jr. Iglesias and Upton will score on a play. A two-run fielding error by Guerrero Jr. Cost the Jays, and it is to 4-1. Continuing with that bottom of the fifth, Teoscar Hernandez starts swinging. Singles to left. Marcus Simeon scores on the play, and they have two on the board. Dickerson triples to left. Teoscar Hernandez will score from first, and it's three runs to four in favor of the Angels. Top of the sixth, Goslin singles to the left, Ligaris and Otani score on the play, and they finish off the game. They bow down and give the Jays their loss. Six to three win in the final of seventh for the Los Angeles Angels. Junio Guerrera with the three and two record now with one inning pitched and one base on ball, and Steven Matz will get his seventh loss of the season with four and a half inning pitch, two earned runs, three base on balls, and five strikeouts. And Rachel Iglesias with his 25th save of the season. And the Blue Jays get a little dinner break, and they head into a must-needed win here after losing the first game. And they get it. Top of the first. Guerrero Jr. singles to center. George Springer scores on the play. It's 1-0 for your Blue Jays. Tay Oscar Hernandez singles to right. Guerrero Jr. scores on the play. Marcus Simi moves up to second. And it's 2-0 for the Jays. Top of the six. Guriel Jr. singles to center. Lots of singles in these games. Bo Bichette and Tay Oscar scoring with Alejandro Kirk. Moving up to second. A four-run lead for the Blue Jays that they would hold on to for the rest of the game in the seven innings. 4 nothing win. Trevor Richards getting his second win as a Blue Jay. Two innings pitch, one base on ball, and two strikeouts. And Jose Suarez with his fifth loss in the season, pitching five and a half innings, four earned runs, one base on ball, and two strikeouts for Jose Suarez. Not the greatest from him, but he didn't play too bad, to be honest. So what does this mean for the Blue Jays? Well, it means that we are now two and a half games back of the Boston Red Sox. And the Tampa Bay Rays are actually playing the Boston Red Sox in a series right now. This is the battle for the title, and I think Tampa is just closing them out just a little bit. So, what we need is the Tampa Bay Rays to go on a massive hot streak against the Boston Red Sox, to annihilate them, sweep them, do whatever they have to do to make sure the Red Sox don't win any more games. The Jays need to take the next two against the Angels. One of them, starting tonight, with my boy on the mound, Alex Manoa with four and one on the season, a 258 ERA. It is picture perfect of an ERA, and it is gorgeous. Dylan Bundy, he's two and eight on the season, one of their weakest pitchers for the Angels lineup, and six and 14 for the ERA for Dylan Bundy. So not the greatest ERA, not the greatest record. That doesn't mean we can take advantage of him. We have to light him up because we're not sure how Shohei Otani, how Mike Trout. How the entire Angels roster is going to react against Alex Manoa. They could light him up. They could be absolute garbage against him. And Manoa could steal another one for the Jays. So, we're going to have to see what Alex Manoa can do in terms of damage against the Los Angeles Angels tonight at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all I'll say for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more of these videos. And please make sure to turn on your post notifications to get notified when these videos do come out. One more thing, please, please, please make sure to share this video with your friends and family. It helps me out a lot, guys, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.